So the EP is out now. Yeah. It's called The Phoenix. And one of the tracks that is, is not easy to miss is the track that has your wife on it. Yeah. Um, and it's something that you've spoken about before in music. And obviously on a personal level, I've heard you speak about. Um, and it's something that I've noticed means a lot to you. Not just your wife, I'm sure she does, but that <laughs> whole kind of marriage, love, relationships, yeah. taking that as serious as possible. And I was lucky and fortunate enough to, to be at your wedding and be a bridesmaid, thanks. Hey. Um, and I remember you saying, you're like expressing your feelings on love and marriage and how you were very skeptical of it before. Mm. Um, but there was something that resonated with me and it was that you were able to overcome that, have a wedding, be married. Mm. How long have you been married for now as well? Two years up in this. Two years in this. Um, tell me or tell us about that experience for you. Tell us about how that was another thing that I'm sure changed yeah. a lot for you. Yeah, I, I was never really one that wanted to get married because all I saw, I guess it was from the viewpoints I was looking at, I just saw in TV and media, I just saw marriage doesn't work, you would break up. I would see celebrity couples get together and be happy, 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 and then mm. it would break up. I would see in sitcoms, it was even those, even to that level whereby the mum and dad wouldn't stay together. So I just thought, oh, marriage, and who can commit to, what guy can commit to one woman, and that's it. Mm. I can't, no, that can't work. And I knew myself, my like weaknesses, like I, I like women. Mm. So how am I going to choose one and that's it forever? What if she gets boring? <laughs> what if she, do you know what I'm saying? What if she snores? Like what, do you know what I'm saying? All these things. And I'm just, Wait, what? how old are you at this stage, by the way? Like 24. <laughs> okay, cool. So he's quite young. What? Is you, that young? Yeah, it's still young. At 24, it's okay if you think that women We're not are going to well, snore and you have to leave them. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I just never, I was never, um, want to get married. I didn't think that would be for me. Mm. Um, and all through my relationships, I'd always got to a point where um, I was close to a girl, I was working out, but it would get serious. And I'd be like, oh gosh. Yeah. If, if it's getting serious, then it means we might get married. Married? No. no stop answering the phone. <laughs> We're all back, roll back. I'm going on holiday. And I, was, I would just become more distant, more cold until it would you know fizzle out yeah and i could see that and so there was a period of time where i'd broken up i'd come out of a relationship and i was a single and i thought you know what let's chill for a second so I'm jumping from relationship to relationship chill let's try and understand why do these things keep on happening because it can't be there for all the time yeah so i started to look into myself and realize that you know what? it's the way i view things and um i was at church one day and my pastor was talking about marriage especially for young people because he knew that was a problem and he said he was saying that a lot of young people feel that way, that marriage doesn't work or it's not for them, just because of the things that they view, the things that they see marriage as in mm. the media sphere or just out in the public. But if you, to, if you were to look at good marriages and try and focus your mind on that and zone in on that, yeah. then you can see that, no, see that's a good marriage and take that for yourself, yeah. rather than seeing the bad ones and taking that for yourself. And I was like, that's what I've been doing. I've been putting their, the failure of their marriage on myself. That's mm -hmm. what's going to happen to me. So I stopped that and I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that no more. Then I happened to meet my wife. Yeah. And I believe those things, you know, I was ordered in that path because I had to come to that realization first. Before, yeah. Before. Um, and so thankfully I met her and, um, you know. You've been married for two years. <laughs> been married for two years. Thank God, man. Is marriage <laughs> hard? I have to ask. How old are you? What do you mean? How old are you? How old are you? How was your age? Would you, how do you mean, what's my age? How old are you? Where, in what term? <laughs> like now, today, how old are you? Is that a, are we, are we, is that a question? Yeah. I think we should move on to the next question, really and truly. <laughs> the reason why I'm asking okay. is because I want to, because like you said, obviously at 24, you had that sort of oh, thing in your yeah, brain. That's true. So is it, because people, people must want to know, you seem like a young, normal yeah, guy. Yeah, let's keep that word young. Okay. Yeah. You seem like a young guy. Yes. You don't seem like someone who is in adult world. Okay. Because let's <laughs> face it, that. there's adult world. Yeah, true, it? true. So you, it's just, what I'm trying to get is, is it hard for you because of how young you are and the fact that you know, you're not in adult land with your mortgage in your mm -hmm. car, driving around, doing a nine to five, being an adult person, mm -hmm. you're, you make music. You're yeah. still in sort of a world that is around people your age and our yeah, age, true. and a lot of people can still relate to you. So, but some people won't be married. Yeah. True. So, do you think that it's it's hard? Do you think marriage is hard for you? 
it's not hard. And hard for someone that is your age and is in the industry that you're in. I, I'm thankful I'm married. Yeah. Because I remember Chip, I remember Chipmunk said a lyric, he said, keep the girl you had before the deal. And I was like, when I heard that lyric, I was like, it's true, you know, because for me, um, I don't have to, in a sense, I am not barricaded by fame to have to find a girl. Mm -hmm. And when you get to a certain point, the fame barricades you that you can't even find a girl who you feel has good intention yeah, or not. Of course, yeah. I'm thankful that I found a girl who is, in a sense, rolling with me before anything happened. And I've seen how she moved in that situation yeah. to, you know, and um, what happens in the future, what the future holds. And I know that she'll be just there through and through. And mm -hmm. that, I, I, th that makes me more than happy. And it doesn't, you know, marriage, I think marriage is just like every other relationship in terms of whatever you experience whether it's you know someone annoying you but at the flip side there's someone that makes you smile someone that angers you but then there's someone you have such joy and love for yeah and so i think it's like every other relationship you but you have to you have to put in your you have to put in your work just in like this music you can say yes i'm the greatest rapper but you haven't if you haven't put out anything mm. do you know what i'm saying you've got to put your work out there. and in the same way of marriage you've got to serve that marriage how can you better this person how can you make this person okay she's coming home you know sometimes she'll be coming home late uh, from work she's just going to the gym i can just be sitting at home like, oh you're right <laughs> yeah but I, I have to think in my head way ahead of time she's going to be hungry right i need to fix something to eat yeah not for my not just for myself yeah. but what is she going to eat um if she's coming from the station and it's late at night i'm comfy in my bed in my cover you know what i'm saying but what is she going to do she's going to jump on the bus to come yeah no i've got to get out Bam, get into the car, zoom, get there, and we'll get back because she's safe. Mm. And so I think that's the, that, that sometimes is what is missing in marriage is the, the service. Are you, uh, when you stop serving the other person, yeah. then it starts to collapse yeah, because then the person, everyone's just thinking of themselves, me, 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 me. Who taught you this? I think it was through the teachings at church, you know, it's through the Bible. Like there's a scripture in, I think it's in um, Corinthians and it talks about love. And it's so synonymous with that song that Beyonce has, you know, love is patient, love is kind. And, it, and there's, a, there's a line in it that says, love is selfless, it's not, it's not self-seeking. So in the same, I, don't, I didn't really know this until, you know, me and her, we actually started to actually apply it mm. in the little things. And it's not, it hasn't, doesn't have to be some airy fairy thing in the little practical things, you know. I might boil, yesterday, or two days ago, I boiled the kettle. It's like, do you want a hot drink? She's like, no. Nah. Now, she doesn't want a hot drink. Okay, cool. But I couldn't stand at the kettle, pour my drink, and come to the bedroom with, a, with tea, but I hadn't asked her. Mm. And it felt wrong, because I have to serve her. I got a server. Yeah. And she does the same. She, you, know, uh, you know, what time are you getting back from the studio? I'll come home and there's food in the oven. Yeah. Do I expect there to be food in the oven? No. Because then you start to abuse that, uh, that in a sense, that, uh, that privilege, in yeah, a sense. Of course, yeah. When I find this food in there, I have to say, you know, thank you. <laughs> because it doesn't have to be there. Yeah, of course. I, I can come home and cook it myself, but she makes it there. She makes sure that, because she knows I'm hungry, not because she has to be the typical wife, mm. but to love and to serve in love. So it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Two years, I think, I'm in mean, two years. I'm, I, was, I was shocked when it was one year. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, I was shocked when I was and one we year. we made it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness <laughs> me. Someone that didn't want it, but it's beautiful and it will continue to be beautiful.